Hello again to all our Facebook followers and uh, our friends that go on our website, flagaustralia.org. Uh, and uh, we thank you very much for following us, we really do. Um, Flag Australia, Food Producers Landowners Action Group Australia is very, very concerned at uh, what's happening to our ability to grow clean, healthy food for all. Uh, I'm just here at the moment um, with, uh, with John Dolan, who, uh, who comes from a suburb in Adelaide. And John, uh, since you've heard about this uh, Yan Dan mining company that uh, want to mine gold, in this beautiful, pristine environment. Um, how do you feel about it? I think that this is a retrograde step. This Yangdan, I've done my research, and this is actually a Hong Kong-based Chinese company which is registered in Cayman Island, which obviously aren't going to take any notice of anything that's anything to do with Australia. They just want to rip whatever they can out. And this is prime farmland, and they shouldn't be uh, destroying it. We need to have decent food all the time, not at the uh, behest of the uh, people that decide that they're going to sell the land. I, I agree entirely. I think we've seen recently how, uh, you know, we've had contaminated berries coming from Chile and China, uh, contaminated with hep hepatitis A uh, and other uh, food, imported food coming over and we've been, uh, which has been contaminated and we don't know what it's sprayed with and where it's grown. And uh, you know, we've got stipulations here that's put on us that we keep our clean, healthy food image. And uh, let's face it, you know, food's number one. Without clean, healthy food, uh, you know, we can't function. Uh, but just on another thing too, just driving through the hills, you know, to see these beautiful hills cut up. Uh, what, about, what about the toxins? I mean, I know with the Can Man 2 mine now, people have done tests in their gutters, soil in their gutters, and there's um, signs of arsenic and other chemicals. I mean, we haven't got mains water. We live off rainwater tanks and all the rest of it. Yep. So, you know, we could get our rainwater tanks contaminated, our dams contaminated, our underground water contaminated, and, and what an eyesore. We're gonna have trucks going, what, 24 hours a day? Uh, we're gonna have workers, you know, they say create jobs. How many jobs are gonna be created? Are they gonna be coming over from China on 457 visas? More than likely, because let's be honest, the last two major projects, the hospital, in Adelaide and the, uh, ex the extension to South Road, most of those people are on 457s. Exactly. And what has that done for us and as employees in this state? Absolutely nothing. All the money goes straight back out. Exactly right. I mean, we can see at the moment too, with uh, and this is slightly getting off the subject, but you know, with the amount of agricultural land that is being bought up with overseas government investors and corporations, food growing here, going back to their country and not paying any tax. Are they going to be paying tax on this gold mine? I would very doubt, I so would doubt I would, it. I would, I would really like to say to you politicians that are doing this to us, you politicians should be locked up. Hear, hear. This is treason. And it is absolutely disgraceful that you people with a flick of a pen can sign this off. And I think it is disgusting. Is there anything else you'd like to say, John? Yeah, I think that uh, it's rather despicable when there's a lady in uh, Tasmania that's got $270 million to invest in a dairy farm, but can't because it's got to be sold to the Chinese. And I think that is just as despicable. Well, I really don't understand where, what the politicians are doing, well, apart from feathering their own, maybe. I, I think we've got to get back to, forget about free trade, we've got to get back to fair trade. And uh, we've got a charity begins at home, and we've got to look after Australia and Australians first. But thanks very much, John. Much appreciated. It's all right, Peter.